Each perfectly manicured lawn, or the ease and beauty with which things grow, these are some of the things that make living in a place like Bainbridge Island so wonderful. Our relationship to our natural surroundings sometimes reaches beyond our awareness. Our interactions with our environments can affect things beyond what we see in our day-to-day -day lives. The perfect flower garden or an inviting pathway can lead one unwittingly into a relationship with the chemicals found in pesticides, herbicides, and plant fertilizers that we put on our lawns and in our gardens that affect more than the appearance of your yard. These chemicals subject one to possible adverse health effects when used in our homes. The Natural Landscapes Project is a community outreach program founded by co-directors Bobby Morgan and Kara Cruikshank that promotes pesticide-free care for natural, healthy lawns and gardens. Well, it was about a year and a half ago, and um, one of the things that happened was I finished grad school and wanted to do in my in environmental studies and wanted to do a project on the island. And Bobby had finished teaching and wanted to do something environmental too, so we kind of came together to do a pesticide reduction project for Bainbridge um, and the city, city council, made a proposal to the city council and they made us co-directors. So we started out with a uh, sort of a pilot project at the beginning to test the waters, learn the ropes a little bit. It went really well, it was well received, it was successful, so the following um, budget session we applied for some more funding from the city. They liked a lot what we were doing. I think the city is really interested in protecting water quality here on the island, drinking water. And people's and health. And people's health, health and streams too. It's very, very supportive of city council right now for that. So we've had a good time. We've done outreach in a variety of different ways. We've attended um, almost every public event on Bainbridge. The Natural Landscapes Project recommends a preventive, non-toxic approach to lawn and garden care and works with specialists like Ann Lovejoy at Bainbridge Gardens to help homeowners replace their dangerous gardening projects with those that have less toxic impacts on the environment. Well, I became um, aware of some of the dangers um, after I read some of the pamphlets I received from the Natural Landscape Project. Uh -huh. I wanted to come in and talk to you about some replacements for some of the chemicals we were using. We have like weed and feed and oh, the sure. diazinon. Uh -huh. um, I have three young children who are often playing on our property and we also have a creek behind us. Oh, good for you because that's really important. Yeah, and I'm concerned about safety for the children and for the environment. Sure. So, Ann, are you part of the Natural Landscape Project? Well, Bainbridge Gardens has been extremely pleased to host some of the training sessions uh -huh. here, yes. One thing that was amazing, when we did our environmental cleanup here at the nursery, the, sh the staff was pretty shocked to discover that some of the products we had formerly carried on the shelves were actually had to go to the hazardous waste facility, and they were not safe to just transport in an open truck. They had to be specially packaged. And, it, and labeled and, and they yeah. wore blue suits to dispose of it too. Well one thing that was amazing to me is that these products have been around for as long as I can remember and so we just naturally thought it was fine to use them on our lawn and we have children running around and then to suddenly find out how dangerous and to read these reports. Isn't there a report about how yeah. dangerous? Yep, in Seattle the UW did a study on kids and pesticides and they found 109 out of 110 kids had pesticides in their urine. That's the one I told you about. I think right. You got your attention. Right, which is really scary. I have yeah. a two-year-old and five-year-old, six-year-old, and they run around all the time. It's amazing it the works. amount of products you have here. And the cool part, they don't cost anymore, and they're just as easy to use or easier, and you don't have to mask up to wear them. Right. And your pets are safe walking through them, too, and the birds and the butterflies are safe walking through them. Exactly flying right. Through them and We're really excited about being able to give you safe, natural right. alternatives to right. dangerous chemicals. The Natural Landscapes Project also works with lawn care professionals like Nick Penovich of the Lawn Jockey Natural Lawn Care. Nick helps homeowners by providing compost tea and natural fertilizer treatments for their yards. Compost tea is a specially brewed product derived from compost and does not rely on toxic lawn or garden chemicals. Um, I heard about Natural Landscapes um, through my neighbor, Joan Gardner, and uh, I found out about Nick and uh, asked him if he would do our yard. And I was uh, specifically interested because of the p experience that I'd had with um, previous lawn services who had used 
uh, chemicals on my yard that I knew were toxic based on the experience I had as a veterinarian for the past 18 years. Instead of calling what I have as fertilizer, I call it the food because I don't use inorganic fertilizers. I use uh, bone meal, cotton seed, and that type of stuff for the food for the organisms to eat to make them cycle to give the nitrogen to the plant. So we're really talking about some kind of a liquid compost that yes. contains invisible critters that are good for the roots of the plant, all growing plants. Is that right in a nutshell? Yep, that's, you've got it. We've decided to switch from using uh, the more harmful pesticides and the chemical-based products like Roundup and that sort of thing. We have uh, pets, a uh, small child, and we really um, have decided that we want to have a, a pesticide-free environment. Mm -hmm. I think mainly we just want Kaya to grow in a healthy um, environment mm -hmm. and just know that she's safe no matter where she goes in the yard. She can pick anything she wants to eat that's edible and she can walk barefoot anywhere too. Living on Bainbridge Island, we have the good fortune to be surrounded by the most beautiful and natural landscapes in our country. And it is important to do whatever we can to protect that environment while maintaining the natural beauty of the island. The Natural Landscapes Project believes that everyone can help to create a toxic-free island by using safe and healthy methods for their landscape care.